on the left side I got that jacket from a thrift store I paid about five dollars for it it's a man's jacket it's a um, medium the right side I got this jacket from American Eagle it's a little too small for me I had it about for maybe I want to say five years now and I've definitely outgrown it some but um, it's not that small so what I'm gonna do is just remove the arms from um, the extra large jacket I mean I'm sorry the men's medium jacket and I'm going to put those sleeves on the American Eagle jacket because I wanted to have like that close fitting uh, denim jacket look but I wanted the arms to be loose so this is like perfect for me so here I'm just removing the sleeves and I'm making sure I'm cutting as close to the border as possible So if you are going for the wider arm effect like I am, you are going to have to um, cut the jacket a little bit. So as you can see right here, I am measuring from the top, the peak of the arm to the um, bottom of the arm to get the actual armhole length. And mine happened to be 11.5 inches. So I'm just going to measure until I um, get 11.5 and then I'm going to cut off the excess fabric. So as you can see, it's not much that I have to cut off. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm just gonna fold the jacket in half and cut off the excess fabric. I want to make sure that everything is lined up as evenly as possible. So now the armholes are perfect for the arms, for the sleeves. And now I'm just going to take the inner arm seam and the outer um, waist seam from the jacket, I'm going to line them up and I'm going to start to pin them into place to prepare it for sewing. So I'm starting off with the regular um, stitch and then after that I go back in with a zigzag stitch just to hold the jacket into place. Now I have a whole bunch of different uh, fabric textures and um, fabric prints that was just lying around and I decided to make some patches because I was actually going to order some patches and I realized like I could kind of make my own so I wanted to try to do that. So here I'm starting off with um, writing down exactly what I would want to see on my jacket and I'm writing establish well EST which is for establish 1991 that is the year I was born. And then on this one, I'm drawing a heart and I pretty much like kept doing a whole bunch of different patches. And then after that, I went ahead and I um, pinned to the jacket just to kind of see like what I wanted to look like or what words I wanted to see. And then after that, I went in and sewed. So as you can see, this word says bad and I'm just using the zigzag stitch and I'm 
just uh, outlining the actual word this is not the correct way to do embroidery word embroidery so don't follow me you can do it this way if you want to but you definitely um, don't want to necessarily do it that way because you want the actual tools to help you uh, do it properly so it can look neat mine didn't come out as perfect as I would want it to come out because obviously I didn't have all the correct tools this is my first time doing it but I love it it made the jacket come out even more better than I thought it would have just because everything is just so raw and organic and authentic and it's just all me so but as you can see I'm just um, tracing out the words like I said I put my um, setting to zigzag stitch I made sure that the stitches was as close as possible I went over the letters about three times so that the um, thread can really stand out and be bold And this is what it looks like, as you can see. Next, I am taking my um, Gorilla Glue. I wrote down HQIC, which stands for Head Queen in Charge. And I am going over that with my Gorilla Glue. And I am placing some flat pearls down. And that's going to be another patch that I add to the jacket. So pretty much I'm just going through all of like the patches that I created for the jacket. Well, some of the patches that I created for the jacket and that's it. Um, If you guys want to see me do more videos on patches, like how to make patches the correct way with the right tools, then comment down below and let me know and I'll definitely do it. I really enjoyed making this jacket. It took quite some time, but um, it was all worth it because I know for a jacket like that, you, I would wind up having to pay a good amount of money and I didn't have to do that because everything I got was literally in my house, everything I already had. So um, all I had to do was just actually put the time and effort into it and look, it just turned out really cool at the ending so I'm happy I decided to make my own patches it's so funny because I literally was gonna order patches and then I thought to myself like well can I make my own patches and then I actually typed it in on YouTube I saw some people um, doing it at home themselves and I'm like you know what I think I can do I think I can get the job done let's try it and I tried it and came out bomb So on this patch it says God is Melanin and this has to be my favorite patch. Um, I really enjoyed making this patch because it's so colorful, it's so meaningful to me and um, it made the jacket look <laughs> dope. So I'm literally just going over the letters like I said about like maybe three to four times and look at it. I did that in my own handwriting and I love it. It just looks so raw. So after that, I placed the patches down where I would want to see it. I pinned them and I went back after that and sewed them into place. So this is what the back looks like. Those are the patches. And this is the final look, guys. Savage. I have woke my initials. My birthday, my birth year, I mean, head queen in charge, badass in the front. Like, I really enjoyed making this jacket. If you guys like this video, comment down below. Like, subscribe, share, turn on your notification bells, and as always, live, love you. I love you guys. Bye.